guys here. Got a trigger. Last part, we did the factory in the future and got Robo a power up. In this part, I believe we're headed to. Is it the Middle Ages or the present? I think we're headed to the present? Well, we definitely have one reason to go to the present, which, um. Turbo Tales 98 pointed out. Um. Which is that, uh. The sealed thing. You can actually walk to it in the present. Forest ruins. Ah, your pendant, it's glowing. I believe you get to pick one of two items in here. Seal's broken, I give to you a treasure crafted by the Guru of Reason himself. To your right is a weapon which will enhance your strength. To your left is protective gear which will guard your life. Think well and choose whichever you need the most. 13,000 years was a very long time. Balthazar, I go to you now. Alright, I don't even remember who the weapon is for, but, so I'm just gonna grab the defensive equipment. Decreases 38, er, wow, read both halves of that. Uh, increases defense by 38 and um, gives you permanent protect status. Uka can naturally protect anyway, but could still be good. So that bottom right island, I believe, is used for a side quest for powering up Frog's weapon. We're gonna do it, but not yet. Top right, we have the thing relevant for the Sunstone quest. I need to remember how to actually warp with this thing. Okay. Because for those familiar with the quests, we're more interested in the Rainbow Shell. And let's see. I'm actually not sure where to go for the Rainbow Shell. Down here. Suspicious Mountain. You can enter it. It's got Tyranno Lair music. Crumpled note written in Toma's hand. These holes, perhaps they're meant to be jumped into. Yes, I'd best start all over. Is this the old Tyranno Lair? The prehistoric castle. Magus has lightning. Of course, at this point, unless these are, like, new enemies, they're kind of pathetic by now. I'll be confused, which I'm immediately going to knock off by just killing you. Shield Sphere, Barrier Sphere, Nice Learned Dark Mist, I think it said. Er, Tex. Well, first I wanted to cast this anyway. Dark Mist, attack all enemies with darkness. I almost said all allies. Clarity Cap, probably prevents amnesia status. Otherwise known as Skill Seal. Must be a shortcut out. Perhaps be used as a reset if you go the wrong way. Okay, so we go down these stairs. We're exploring. I guess let's see what dark mist looks like. Maybe not the best use of our MP, but like there's probably gonna be a save point before the boss, so uh. You can just use a shelter there. 
All right, it's that attack. And it won the fight immediately. Of course, we could have probably saved 2 MP by casting Thunder 2. I don't really need to save right now. Oh, well, goodbye, kitty. Goodbye, monsters. Now you just interact with it. Uh, it's empty. The switch doesn't appear to be interactable. Let's just fall. Too far to counterattack. Interesting. Oh, I should have probably targeted the one. Oh. They have very short counterattack ranges. Robo might get hit. Okay, on Robo's next turn, he should heal. Oh, nice. That one's dead. Probably just keep attacking. Maybe not with Magus right now. Robo's dealing really nice damage. Did I equip the Crisis Arm on him? He's got five in the ones digit right now. Well, now he has eight, actually. I was looking at max HP for some reason. Strength capsule. What's the other button do? Summons enemies. Sick. Could have healed up between battles, but I didn't. Just toss an AoE out, because might as well. Nothing's stopping me. And it wins the fight. Shield Sphere and a couple level ups. They're almost as high level as Magus. Hi, Ether. There was a shiny thing over here. Another strength capsule. Alright, let's use both of our strength capsules. Well, let's get Rolo some more strength. He physically attacks a lot. Alright. Almost got a 7 in the ones place. Starting in that one because it's far from everything, but I guess. I don't know. I guess that was its turn to actually walk over and do that. This is double bomb. Even though it only hit one of them. Harry is up the fight, and I don't think this zone is too big. So maybe I should have Magus using magic. I guess continuing to do a Chrono Impersonation, because I have no reason to pick any element besides Lightning. Oh, yeah, that didn't actually deal that much damage. They must have decent magic defense. Still, it finished one off and did damage the other, so it was better than inputting a normal attack. Alright. Another Lapis. And the character is jumping forward on the screen because of the lag or something. Okay. Let's tackle there. Lightning 2 to clean up the enemies besides the throwing guy. I acknowledge that I have Rapid Fire Fist, but I like tackling things. I have no strategic justification for not using Rapid Fire Fist. I even saw it before I made the selection, so it's not like I just like forgot I had it. 
Blue gemstone. That's for some parties, triple tech. Ladder up probably goes to that fall-off spot I pointed out earlier, yep. Just in case you want to leave. I haven't noticed any alternative path I might have wanted to take. Or rather, I've noticed every alternative path, and I've taken it. Zodiac cape. We know who uses capes. Or do we? It's not here. Anybody but Magus uses this particular cape. Uh, just kidding, Robo doesn't. Specifically, any lady uses that cape. So is it a Zodiac dress? Hmm. I don't really want to give up three speed. That's a substantial amount of speed when your base speed is seven. Although, how much more defense and magic defense did it have? I didn't even really compare that well. Okay, one more physical defense, ten more magic defense. Noted. Oh. One of those guys. Guess we're gonna cast lightning. Conveniently cleans up the small guys while also hitting that guy. Oh, he immediately electric maelstroms. What a jerk. Oh. Apparently we can just deal damage. Maybe the crisis arm has something that allows it to, uh... Ignore defense or something. So maybe I should double check that I don't actually have the Terraton arm on. Yeah, he's wearing the crisis arm. Wearing? Do you wear arms when you're a robot? No interaction with that skull. Must need to go this way. We'll probably be seeing them later, but it's fun to drop things in holes. Wrath Band. I believe that gives counterattack chance. Oh. That's funny. Actually, Rapid Fire Fist costs a lot. Oh. <laughs> they, uh. apparently absorb lightning. Yeah, I think for how much damage it does, Rapid Fire Fist may not be worth the MP cost increase. Not unless we're really trying to hurry something up. Alright, what about Flare? Alright, that showed them. Never again will they make the mistake of absorbing my lightning attack and not dying to that. Yeah, sometimes as the party's reforming after battle, the party members just, like, skip ahead. High potion. And falling. Ah, oh, this is one of the old jail cells. We can now open that from the inside, and there was a capsule, which is the actual reason I came up here. I believe our boss is actually behind Kino's old jail cell. Shelter. Strength capsule. Save, of course. Although, the mobile version's auto saves on screen transitions would have our back anyway. It's empty! 
I wonder if you can not loot things in 65 million BC and have the item change, or if it's just the same item, or if that's always empty, because, like, Toma found it. I guess we just run behind it and then it comes up? No? How do you start the fight? You try to go up the right side. Five. It's, like, literally the same fight as before, but it's got more stats. Let's see, wait. I don't know if it does a, uh... Physical attack or magic attack when the countdown ends? I'm gonna start casting barrier on people. Also, this is... Oh, it's too far away from Robo for double bomb. I don't want to waste all my MP with Rapid Fire Fist. Robo is in fact the healer. Meanwhile, we can waste all of our MP with Flare. What else is Luka gonna do? I hope you can have Protect and Shell on the same target. Well, I mean, even if only Shell is on, that's probably fine. No, oh, there's the attack. I'm gonna hold their turns in case I want to use items to- Oh, it's pathetic. I guess two of my party members happen to resist. Um, fire right now. I guess Magus just has excellent magic defense or something. And we did put on Shell. Or Barrier, whatever it's called in this game. Alright. That biting attack, though, hurts. Oh, Flame Strengthened. Is that your gimmick? Counting down again. Oh, that was meant to be a tackle. Let's just hit him. I don't think we need to restore anyone's MP this battle. How much does Dark Mist do compared to just hitting him? I should have watched the Dark Bomb damage as well, since that's single target. 1,000 damage, yeah, that's at least more than 400 damage. But if I Dark Bomb, is that just like a similar attack but focused? Or does it actually deal less damage because it's a lower level tech? Yeah, it does similar damage, but it's not as wide an area. Got it. Alright, hold Robo's turn. Apparently, these flames have been strengthened. Yeah, might as well top off. In case someone gets, like, chomped twice in a row, it might save their life. Actually, if Robo just attacks normally, how much does he deal when he's got... A five in the ones digit. I think it was pretty strong earlier. How? Anyway, it's a little weaker. Oh, I should have actually healed Luca that round. This flame continues to strengthen, and yet it is also pathetic. Yeah, I'm not even gonna recast my shells or barriers or hit green status. Yeah. 
I had some form of haste. That'd be pretty convenient. I think there's an accessory that puts it on. Marl can cast haste, but she's not in the party. See, I'm not sure if it's the order I did the side quests, or just the fact that I farmed up one of the flame-resistant armors, but this boss seems really pathetic. Reminding us that Chrono Trigger is, in fact, an easy game. Just make sure to cure beam in case the same person gets targeted. <laughs> I haven't been doing that, it might be relevant. Oh, yeah! There we go. Luca would have died. Then we would have had to use one of our extre oops, our extremely cheap revival items. I think for the cost of one revive in um, or rather one phoenix down in Final Fantasy V, you can buy like eight in this game or something. Or eight revives? Wait, they cost what like one fifty? So... No, six. Because a phoenix down in Final Fantasy V is... Um... 1,000 gil. And I feel like the money scales are actually pretty comparable. Probably because they're both Square Enix RPGs. Oh! That's actually starting to deal damage. Maybe I do need to refill MP and... Oh. Just kidding, we won. <laughs> Level ups. I was gonna say refill MP and rebuff. But no, we won. And it's the rainbow shell! We got it! Quest complete, except not really. Yeah, the rainbow shell. Boom. Who shall we have carry it for us? Good question. Can I, like, leave somehow? Oh, wait, we unlocked that shortcut. Oh, just kidding. Suddenly, we're at the castle. Well met, you're always welcome here. Is something troubling you? Um, well, you see... You see, you see, you wish for me to self safeguard the shell you found on that island, within the castle, for future generations. Grant them this small favor, it is little enough to ask. Very well, I shall have the shell brought to the castle and stored in our vaults as a royal heirloom. Commander! Yes, Majesty. Go to the Giant's Claw and retrieve for me this rainbow shell. Who wants your Majesty? Thank you very much. Okay. Mr. Ardo's victory, I've about cooked the meal, and speaking of cooking, I've mind to prepare a victory feast, something truly spectacular, to celebrate the Fiend Lord's defeat. Okay. You do that. I think that means that the Chrono Special is available in the kitchens or something. Um. Anyway, we have access to the airship again. Because it followed us. Right, I think I might actually be required to put Marl in the party for the next part. But we can just... Oops. We can just get her from the menu. I'm just here for the free heal. Might as well hit up the save point. Uh, if I can interact with it... <laughs> Hitting the interact button on save points is apparently the hardest thing in the game. Or actually, fighting, what, Giga Gaia? That might be the hardest thing in the game. Or Lavos. Lavos is actually a reasonably tough boss. I guess it depends on how prepared you get for him. If you do the Rainbow Shell quest and then fight him through the Black Omen, he's significantly less bad than if you rush to him early in the game. <laughs> 